What is going on Giants fans coming at you with another New York Giants pre-game video and the New York Giants are just hours away from taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers at MetLife Stadium Monday Night Football. I am so excited for this game and um, I mean, it felt like it's been so long since I've watched a Giants game. It felt like it's been like a decade. It felt like it's been so long but football is finally back. The Giants will take on the Steelers. It's going, it should be a very good game. The Steelers are a very good uh, you know, football team. They should be very tough to beat, but I do believe the Giants can get the job done and win this football game. I'm going to talk about you know, the keys to kind of how the Giants could win this game, what they should do to try to stop the Steelers, and uh, how, they should, how they could win this game. So uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about, another easy way to win, is give the ball to the best running back in the NFL, Saquon Barkley. That's the main task. Give the ball to Saquon Barkley, and uh, you can win a lot of games because he is so unbelievably dynamic and special when he, you know, get, when he gets the ball. He's be by far one of the most talented NFL players in this league. He's incredible. You just got to give him the ball. They got, they didn't really give him the ball enough last year. Joe Judge, give Saquon Barkley the ball, and uh, the, the Steelers are going to have trouble defending that guy. I mean, Saquon Barkley is just an unbelievable player, and uh, Joe Judge has got to give, you know. Joe Judge and Daniel Jones gotta you work out some plays. Gotta give the ball to Saquon Barkley. That's one one way they can win this game. Give the ball to the best running back in the league. Yes, I said it. He's better than Christian McCaffrey. He's better than Zeke. He's better than Dalvin Cook, Kamara. All these guys. He is the best running back in football when healthy and with an improved offensive line. He is the best running back in the sport. And uh, just give the ball to him. Give the ball to him, and we can win this game if we just give the ball to Saquon Barkley. That's how dynamic that guy is. Also. Daniel Jones, he can run a little bit. Let Daniel Jones run. Let him use his legs. He's very good. Obviously, in that game against the Buccaneers in his first game, we won that game against the Bucs. And uh, that, our defense was awful in that game. But we won that game because Daniel Jones ran the ball a lot. He ran, you know, he ran the game-winning touchdown in that game. So I feel like we got to give Daniel Jones, you know, let's hope the offensive line can give, give him some holes so Daniel Jones can run maybe a couple plays, you know. That would be nice to see. Obviously, let's hope he doesn't get injured. But let's hope we can see Daniel Jones run the ball a little bit. Give the ball to Darius Slayton. Throw it, throw it deep to him. D Darius Slayton had a fantastic year last year. I expect Slayton to have an even better year this year with you know an improved Daniel Jones and an improved offensive line. I expect Darius Slayton to have a better year this year than he did last year, and he had a breakout season. So I really expect Darius Slayton to have a big season, maybe a Pro Bowl. Who knows? Uh, I really, I really expect big things from him, and uh, I, I hope Daniel Jones can give him some deep passes, and maybe Slayton can, Slayton can have a couple touchdowns. Uh, Evan Ingram. Uh, we'll see what happens with Evan Ingram. I don't. I don't expect much from Evan Ingram in this game. Uh, he hasn't. He didn't play much last year due to the injury. We'll see what. Ha we'll see what Evan Ingram does. Uh, Golden Tate. We'll see if Golden Tate even plays. I don't even know if Golden Tate's even gonna play in this game because I know he was injured. Didn't really play much in training camp. But uh, we'll see if Golden Tate does play today. I don't think he's questionable. I'm pretty sure he's gonna play. So we'll see what happens with him. Shepard. Sterling Shepard. Um, you know he's the veteran receiver on this team. He's not that old, but he is the veteran. You know the veteran presence for this receiving core. Uh, maybe he can get a couple touchdowns. That'd be nice. And uh, it's going to be tough to score. I'm going to be. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be tough to score against the Steelers defense, arguably the best defense in the NFL. They have a fantastic defense. T.J. Watt, Minka Fitzpatrick, Bud Dupree. Their defense is phenomenal, and it's going to be very tough for the Giants to score points. And uh, if they do score points, I expect the Giants to score mainly only, you know, mainly only late in the game because the Giants aren't a great. I think the Giants will start off maybe a little sloppy, maybe throw a couple interceptions. Let's hope that doesn't happen. I think the Giants, you know, might turn the ball over a little bit. I think they start off a little sloppy, but then they start to settle in in the fourth quarter, and I think they score some points. But let's hope the Giants don't start off like that. Let's hope the Giants play, you know, a, a consistent tough football game. Let's hope they can run up, you know, they can drain the clock out. That's something the Giants need to do to win this game. And uh, the Steelers, beating the Steelers is going to be a tough task. But the Steelers only went 8-8 eight eight last year. They had a very underwhelming season last year. Let's hope the Giants can... Maybe let's hope Ben Roethlisberger's rusty. Let's hope the defense plays well. Let's hope the secondary improves. Let's hope the defensive line... Maybe they can sack Ben Roethlisberger, shred through that offensive line. Uh, let's hope the Giants can win a couple games. Uh, let's, you know... Or a couple games. I hope they do. But let's hope the Giants can, you know, dominate the quarters. Let's hope, to, you know, take up time off the clock. Let's hope they can do that. We'll see what... We'll see... You know, the play calls with Joe Judge. This is the first game in Joe Judge's Giants debut. I'm excited to see what Joe Judge, you know, the the plays, you know, the plays he calls. Uh, I'm excited to see what Joe Judge can do as an NFL coach. I really am. Um, it's going to be an exciting game. It's going to be gritty. It's going to be tough. Both defenses are going to be, you know, they really, they're going to really, they're going to be, you know, busting their butt the whole game. 
it's going to be a very good game. I think the game is going to be low scoring, but I'm going to go 21-17 to New York Giants. They're beating the Pittsburgh Steelers week one and starting off their season 1-0. It's the first time since 2016 the Giants will start off their season 1-0. That'd be nice if the Giants could do that. It's not, it's going to be, it's not going to be an easy task. Steelers are a fantastic team. They're going to be very tough. It's, it's not going to come easy. The Steelers are going to be very tough to beat. But if the Giants do find a way to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers, we will be tied for the NFC East lead with the Washington football team. The Eagles and Cowboys will be tied for last place. How hilarious would that be? The Steelers, probably the toughest team that the NFC East team has had to play. I think the Steelers are better than the Rams. I think definitely better than the Eagles. I think the Steelers are a very good team. I think they have definitely ever are going to be a playoff team this year if Ben Roethlisberger can stay healthy. I think the Steelers very well could be a playoff team this season. Uh, even though they do play in a tough division. But the Steelers are a very good team, one of the best defenses, if not the best defense in the NFL. It's going to be a tough game. I think it's going to be very low scoring, but I see the Giants coming out on top over Pittsburgh 21-17. to So make sure to drop your score predictions for this game down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your score predictions. Uh, I'd kind of be shocked if the Giants won. Uh, I'm predicting the win, but I'm, I feel like that's a little bit of wishful thinking. The, the Steelers are a very good team. They very well, the Giants very well could lose this game. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say the Giants win this game 21-17, to and they beat Ben Roethlisberger, Juju Smith-Schuster, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you are pumped for Giants football to finally be back, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, you know, drop a comment, say go Giants if you're excited for football to finally be, you know, finally be back. Uh, let's hope the Giants can, you know, take that NFC East lead. I know it's only one week, but it'd be nice to start off the season with an NFC East lead. And, uh, you know, we can also get off the season on a good note. We haven't started off the season 1-0 since 2016. It's been forever since we've won week one. And obviously, we played Dallas every single game. I know. it's t Thank God we're not playing Dallas week one this year. But um, I'm so happy we finally have some new competition, some weird competition. I never expected to play an AFC team week one. But whatever. That's what the schedule makers did. You know, that's how the schedule makers put the Giants' schedule. They're playing the Steelers week one. It's going to be a very tough game, but I see the Giants coming out on top 21-17 over the Pittsburgh Steelers. So that's going to do it for this video. Drop your score predictions in the comments below. Make sure to comment Joe, Go Giants in the comments if you're a Giants fan. And uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you're pumped for this game, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say it again. Make sure to drop Go Giants. The keys to win this game, I'll go over it one more time. Give the ball to Barkley. Throw the deep ball. You know, mix it up a little bit. And uh, we need the offensive line to play well because the Steelers have a ferocious defense. So we need the offensive line to play well. I think that's the main reason why the Giants can win this game. We need the offensive line to not look bad like they did in the, you know, in, in the scrimmage. We need the off offensive line to look better because they look terrible, you know, in the... Um, in the intra squad games when they played each other at MetLife Stadium, you know, last last week the offensive line looked terrible. It got shredded by Lorenzo Carter, and uh, the Steelers have improved the Lorenzo Carter. The Steelers have guys like T.J. Watt and Bud Dupree, elite linebackers in the NFL. So this is going to be a very interesting task for the offensive line. We need the offensive line to play well, and we need the defense to step up against aging Ben Roethlisberger. So uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys next time. Peace. Let's go Giants.